guys, so today's tutorial is a special effects look. I know that isn't what I normally do, but I've really been into special effects, so I was like, hey, why not? Halloween's coming up, and I can make this for you guys. There are alternatives to this. I know some people don't like having their mouths shut, so you could always make a little hole, and you can make your own blood. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you learned something from this. If you want to keep watching, stay tuned. So I'm just starting off with Krylon's liquid latex. You can take whatever liquid latex you want. And I'm just pouring that into a container because it makes it a lot easier to apply onto your face and work with the sponge. And then I'm just separating tissue paper or toilet paper, whatever you want, and fitting it to my face. Then I'm applying liquid latex with just a disposable sponge. And then applying the tissue on my face obviously into the shape of a smile so make sure it points out at the end because obviously a normal smile or a fake smile would point out into the end and then just apply liquid latex on top try not to do what I did I ripped a piece off but yeah I fixed that later then I'm applying liquid latex on my lips please 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 do not glue your lips together make sure to apply the tissue paper like I did between the folds of my lips and then I'm just shaping that again and ripping off the edges that didn't fit. And then I'm just filling in little edges that were ripped off. Then obviously I'm doing the same on the other side. So I'm just applying a liquid latex in the shape I need it to be in. And then I am applying the tissue paper just like I did on the other side, trying to make it as even as possible. But my smile was kind of uneven, which I liked because I think if somebody were to slit your mouth like this, they wouldn't really care if it looked even. Then I'm just applying liquid latex on top of any pieces that are sticking off and just smoothing it all down making sure it's as even as possible in terms of height off your face and it should be looking like that. Then I'm just applying uh, more liquid latex around the edges of the smile with a q-tip. This works so well. Please do this if you can. Um, it works really well when you're going to be applying grease paints around the edges because they won't get caught and it'll just look a lot more seamless. Then I'm just taking a matte bronzer and going around my temples and please be very light-handed with this again because we're not trying to look bronzed or beautiful or anything like that we're just trying to make our faces look a bit more sunken in so this will just start the process of sinking in your face then i also went down my nose and i shortened my nose that's just a personal preference i felt it looked better all of this is personal preference but i feel like all these little details add so much more to the main part which is the smile and then I went in the crease of my eye, deepening it and making my eyes more sunken in. And I also went underneath my eyes as well, just to add to it. And then once the first layer of blending dried, I just went around the edges again of my smile with a Q-tip soaked in liquid latex and just blended it in. Um, I did about two layers of this and I also did about two or three layers of the tissue and latex to make the smile. And there's me dancing, listening to music, waiting for it to dry because it took forever. And then I'm just taking any concealer or foundation and I'm putting that on the smile. Make sure you put that all over your face as well so it matches your skin. I kind of forgot to do that so the actual skin part of my smile looked kind of uneven but whatever. I still think it looked good but just remember, don't make that mistake. And then I'm just taking a translucent powder or whatever kind of powder you like and I'm setting that on the smile because I don't want it to be glossy or anything, I want it to be the same finish as my natural skin look, so pretty matte. Okay, and then I'm starting the process of cutting open my smile. Do not cut open where your lips are, we're keeping that shut. But I'm just taking tweezers and I'm going to start picking a hole. Please, please be very careful when you're doing this. I don't want you stabbing yourself or anything like that. I've done this look before so I knew quite obviously where not to poke. But yeah, it's very frustrating because it takes a while. You definitely need patience for this. But once you get it, you'll be very happy. You'll feel accomplished. And then I just went in with scissors obviously and cut through the rest once I finally made a hole. And then obviously I did the same to the other side and then I'm just taking that same pair of scissors and I'm basically going to be cutting open the smile so just cutting off part of the flap so when we do apply grease paints and blood it will be a lot easier to see 
So yeah, this part is pretty hard to, especially if you did a couple layers, but just take your time and um, you'll get it, don't worry. And then I'm just taking my Ben Nye color wheels. I used my Master Bruise wheel and my Character wheel. And I just went in with red and I'm starting to fill in the smile. And this will just kind of create a base of all the other colors we're using. Then obviously I did the same on the other side. Make sure to match it as well as you can. It doesn't matter if it's messy either. And then I took a brownish kind of purple and black and I went underneath the flaps of the smile and this will create create a lot more depth and dimension and just make it look a lot more like rotted. And then I were one around the corners of my face with a paintbrush, so folds of my nose, sides of my nose, underneath my eyes, my temples, my forehead, part of my chin and my jawline. And then I just blended that in. And this, I, I'll add to this later, but this just makes your face look so much more sickly and obviously if your mouth is sewn together, you wouldn't have eaten for a while. So yeah, this makes it look a lot better. And then I'm just starting to connect my lips to the cuts on the side of my mouth because remember, we did not make a slit through our mouths. We kept that closed. So I'm just really starting to make it look like it's sunken in and actually cut. And I'm just using a blackish kind of plum color for that. And then I'm just going heavily more under my eyes. Like I said, we would add to it earlier. And sides of my nose, folds of my nose. And I'm just really making myself look very sick and malnourished and stuff like that. And then I just took a sponge that was taken out of, there was holes taken out of the end. I cannot talk today. I just used my nails to do that and I blended everything in with that. It still blends it in, but makes it look really uneven, if that makes sense. And then I am just creating irritation around the smile. Make sure to blend this in because we don't want to make it look like there's a beard or anything like that on your face. And I just took a red and then I took a bit of a plummy purple again to create that dimension. And then you don't have to do this, but I thought this helped. I have very prominent veins in my eyelids, so I'm just making them look darker with that plummy red color. And sorry, these last couple of clips are really short. My camera was about to die, but I just took some safety pins and pinning that through my fake smile. Remember my fake smile, not my real smile. You can sew it as well. And then I took my Ben Nye Fresh Scab, and I'm just going crazy with that. I'm applying blood wherever I want. Just go crazy with it. Just bring your imagination to life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halloween!